Hi guys, um, hope you're all well out there. Um, I thought it was time to make another little video. Um, in one of the previous videos, I'd spoken about um, the thrash, the, the bands, the thrash bands that got me into um, the whole scene, um, and I showed you a bit of a, a brief selection. So I thought this time it was uh, it was time to show you kind of the bands that I was into when I was listening to it. Um, like I said, I, I, I kind of got into the thrash thing and then it moved on, you know, progressed like, like many of you will have um, into death and, and other things. But I, I wanted to show you the thrash bands that I was listening to um, the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, I'm not going to give a big commentary on every album um, because I'm sure many of you watching this, you, you know that already. Um, but I'm just going to show you uh, the ones. <clears throat> I'm going to probably do this in maybe a couple of parts because um, I think I've got quite a few to show. Um, and like I've said, I wanted to share my collection uh, out there with you guys, show you what I've got. and. Um, yeah, so we'll make a start. So, Acid Rain. Unfortunately, I never got to see these live um, back in the day, which I would have liked to off. Um, they were a great band. Uh, this has got the um, Moshkenstein EP on as well, and the song uh, Motherly Love. I, I just think it's a, it's a classic thrash, thrash tune. Um, again, Obnoxious Acid Rain. Um, this is a, for me was another step up from um, the Fear and Moshkinstein. The production was better. The, the, the songwriting was better. Slightly different band. I think they had an extra guitarist. Um, but this for me is is a, is a, a classic slab of UK thrash. Um, anyone out there who's not heard this, you need to you need to listen to it because it's um, it's one of my all time favourite thrash albums. Um, Acrofet um, from America, um, Speed Thrash. Um, I first heard this on um, where is it? Stars on Thrash, a Roadrunner compilation. Um, yeah, and this was the first time I heard these, and, and, and every song on here I really liked it. So I was introduced to Atrophy and you know a lot of the bands but um, yeah that was my first taster um, of Acrofet uh, and I really liked it. Uh, they, they had a second album I think it was Faded Glory but I've, um, I've not got that. Um, I'd listened, I used to listen to it back in the day when I had on vinyl um, but I haven't got it. Again I suppose with these CDs I should point out that I'm just showing you the ones um, that I listen to that I've got it in my collection now. There are some others that, that are on my holy grail want list. Um, but I'm going to show you the ones I've got anyway. But that's a great album. Um, Annihilator, Alice in Hell. Jeff Waters guitar playing, super. Um, I'm sure this is the only one with the... Yeah, the only one with the singer, Randy, I think... It, I'm not even sure if it was called Randy Rampage, but um can't remember now. Um, but yeah, great album. Uh, and yeah, Never Never Land. Um, again, this is this was another one that I used to listen to a lot. Um, and I suppose after this one, I, I I don't know. I was I was I was turned on to more heavier things, I suppose. So um, I have got some other Annihilator CDs, but. Um, these were the first two. These were the two that I was listening to. Um, Anthrax, State of Euphoria. Loved this album. This was, you know, like I say, these are staples. I'm, I'm not showing sure anything new here, guys. I suppose am I really? But um, yeah, these were just, just classic. I made up to get this one. I got this not long ago, and it's um, the other ones have just got the island sort of rear inlay case in it. But this one's. Uh, the Mega Force version, so I made up to get that recently. Atrophy, Socialized Hate. I just love this band. I I don't know what happened to them. I don't know whether they just didn't get enough um, public. Uh, you know, I don't know whether it was it was advertisements in magazines or they just didn't get. You know, they didn't get. I don't remember them ever touring. 
in England. I'm sure they must have, but I, I don't remember seeing seeing anything really to do with them. And it was road race, a big label, you know. So I don't know what 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 really happened there, but they should have been a, a lot bigger than they were. Great band, Speed Thrash. Um, second album, Violent by Nature. Um, Puppies and Friends, what a tune. Um, yeah, great band. Um, like I say, they should have gone. They should have gone further. They should have been bigger, as far as I'm concerned. But um, yeah, top band. This one, um, I don't. I don't know if you'd class these as. I don't think they were death metal. As uh, I've seen these live a couple of times um, back in the early nineties, and um, I think they're a thrash band. Cerebral Fix from England, from Birmingham. Uh, the original bass player from this band, I think, has gone on to play in Benediction, but uh, more of a death metal band. But that was a, a great, great album. Raw, punky. That's the second one. Uh, Bastards. Simple as. Uh, another great album. Like I say, these are ones that I was listening to in the um, late 80s, early 90s. Um, CIA. Um, Glenn Evans, drummer from Nuclear Assault. This was his um, solo project. Um, a little bit different to Nuclear Assault, but if you're uh, if you're a fan of thrash and maybe a slightly punky edge, hardcore edge, then yeah, I enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. I used to have this on vinyl uh, and picked it up not long ago on uh, on CD. So I made up to get that. Coroner, Punishment for Decadence. Again, it's in my top. I don't like making top tens because I find it really hard. So I'll, you know, uh, maybe top twenty, top twenty-five. But um, yeah, great, great album. Um, Mass Jackal, A Lost Dream. Yeah, super. Different cover to the vinyl release. Um, but Coroner, loved them. And again, more Coroner, no more colour. This is uh, another great album. Another great one. Um, if you've not checked it out, give it a spin. It's um, it's fabulous. Can you call them thrash? Don't know. Um, but um, I loved this when it came out, and I suppose it, it it wasn't far off thrash metal as far as I was concerned. It had the riffs and it had the the aggression, but this was a, a definite um, constant in my tape player. Um, loved it. I think I saw those live um, supporting Pearl Jam. I think maybe in mean, Manchester, but um, yeah, great band. DAM, all the way from Morecambe, not far away from from myself in Blackpool. Um, Signed to Noise Records. I saw they supporting um, Nuclear Assault. Um, a club called the Gardens in Morecambe and it was, uh, it was a great gig little sweaty venue, it was brilliant um, if you've never heard him, check him out Speed, Thrash um, yeah, great, D.A.M I've shown another Dark Angel in my other original um, video, but um, this was another one, yeah, Time Heals uh, Time Does Not Heal, I beg your pardon um, yeah, Gene Hoagland just, just brilliant. Death Angel, the Ultraviolence. Um, oh, I remember um, hearing, seeing Voracious Souls, the video um, on Headbangers Ball or Power Hour, I can't remember what it was now, but it, oh, I just loved it. Loved it the minute I heard it. Um, and then when I found out the drummer was only 14 years old, uh, it just blew me out of even more, but an essential along with Follow Through the Park which is very very different to the ultraviolence but still you know I suppose you get into a band and, and, and you're with them you know and, and it, musical um, directions are always going to always going to change I suppose and, and, and they, they weren't scared of doing that Death Angel and I always respected them for that but um, yeah great album Frolic Through the Park. This was a, a bonus little release that came out as well, I remember. Um, so it's got songs off the first and second album, Fall From Grace. Um, yeah, 
couldn't get enough of Death Angel. Act 3. Again, you know, they've gone onto a, a major label by this point, which doesn't always quite work out, but this was a solid album. Um, and there's got the song The Organisation on it, which is um, what happened to be the rest of the band members, well, two or three of the band members formed a band after Death Angel split called The Organisation. So, a bit of trivia for you. Death Row, Raging Steel. Now I remember, you know, getting into the bands that were on the Noise label, um, and I suppose, you know, you, on the vinyl you used to get these little slips inside, um, and it had a list of all the other, you know, all the other releases, and this was on it. And um, I think I bought this on vinyl originally when it came out, um, and I really liked. It. I haven't listened to this for a long time, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really, really good album. The next one after that, I've got. Um, it's a little bit more proggy than this one, but yeah, this is this is solid, solid thrash as far as I'm concerned. Um, Demolition Hammer. I was lucky enough to see these again um, back in the day in Wrexham, um, and they were, oh, they were, they were just fast. They were just yeah, really good band. Um, but this is a great album, Demolition Hammer. Um, Destruction. Now I first got into these, I suppose, I saw Chuck Billy from Testament wearing a t-shirt with this on and I was intrigued, never heard of him really before that, so I had to check him out. Um, and yeah, quality German um, thrash metal. Um, whoever is into thrash metal will have ordered destruction, there's no doubt about it, so um, yeah, great album. And that's the one there, the release before that. Eternal Devastation, Mad Butcher, two albums in one. Um, yeah, check them out. Um, okay, Devastation. Signs of Life. Um, again, a band that I thought were going to go on to do special things, really. And uh, this is a solid a solid release, so... Um, I don't really know what what sort of happened to Devastation. Again, I, I presume it's the publicity from the um, record companies. Um, but yeah, if you've never heard them, check them out. DRI, um, yeah, crossover, I suppose. Um, but again, with all the sort of compilations that you were hearing and um, were going around, um, I had the song Manifest Destiny, and that turned me right onto DRI and. Uh, yeah, quality band. Um, and then the next release was called Thrash Zone. So, you know, if you listen to Thrash Metal, how can you not? It's called Thrash Zone. You've got to buy it, haven't you? Yeah, good quality quality Thrash Metal, though. I suppose crossover, like I say. Um, okay, I'm going to show one or two more. Um, I don't want this video to go on for too long, so um, I'll get up to maybe E. And then we'll stop and we'll carry on another day. Um, so, Evil Dead. Um, Annihilation of Civilization. I don't remember how I came about hearing this band, but um, if you haven't heard them, please do check them out. Again, another band, you know, it must it must just be to do with record companies not having that, that money to push them the same as they do with some other bands. So, um, it, it's, a, it's a bit of a travesty, really, why some of these bands don't get... Um, get the adulation that they, they deserve but that's for me it's a great album I also listen to a, The Underworld the second album by them as well not as much as the first one but um, yeah we were we were me and my mates were well into these they were um, and I think it was nice because we I suppose if bands aren't um, taken on by everyone and they stay a little bit underground as the whole thrash metal scene is is um, becoming bigger and bigger and bigger, you know, building up to the sort of Clash of the Titans. And it, was, it was nice to still have bands that were in the underground that no one had heard of. Again, Excel, this is another band that I, I was turned on to by seeing, um, it could have been Chuck Billy again, wearing uh, one of their t-shirts. Again, I think they're from Venice Beach, um, California. Um, if you haven't heard them, again, crossover I suppose thrash but but more thrash um, than 
cross over. But yeah, check them out if you've not heard them, they're a good band. Ex Order, The Law. Now, Slaughter in the Vatican, I was listening to, and, and, and that was that was my favourite. I haven't got that on CD, that's that's on my Holy Grail list. Um, but this was also a good one. I suppose the, at this point they were maybe going a little bit more towards groove. I don't know, but still for me it's, it's a great album. Great album. Um, Exodus Bonded by Blood. Exodus Pleasures of the Flesh. Exodus Fabulous Disaster. And finally, Exodus Impact is Imminent. This was their their release that was on the um, on a big major label. Um, I, I was only showing you those quick because you know the, the, you've all you'll have all known uh, you'll have all heard these these albums. Of course you will. Um, a great band Exodus. Yeah, Paul Baloff on the first one, legendary. Um, as far as I'm concerned, all four of these these albums uh, are thrash metal. You know. Staples, so um, yeah. So, guys, I think what I'll do is I'll leave it there um, and then we'll carry on in the next video um, from F um, onwards. And um, yeah, nice talking to you all as, uh, as always. And um, thanks for taking the time to stop by and watch this video. And um, I'll see you again very soon, guys. Yeah, all the best. Take care.